Before I get this tail rolling, I need to bring you up to speed on what's happening here. This is a story of life and death. And to begin with, I'm going to tell you a little of Jeannie's background in her own words. Now, she spent three years on her motorcycle once, traveling around, says they were the best years, you know. Then she knocked out a couple kids, one of which who's autistic. And she ended up becoming a heavy equipment operator. And she put in a lot of hours, very stressful life. Eventually the kids grew, the boy moved out, he was able to move out onto his own, and she was still working her butt off. And she used to sit in her machine, her excavator or whatever she tells me, and watch my videos, and just watch them one after the other. And finally she said, fuck it, I'm hitting the road. And she hadn't ridden any distance in a lot of years, and so, and she'd gotten older, and so she was very freaked out about doing this. And But she took off, staying, camping in parks in little towns. A lot of them will let you do that. And she had gotten a job somehow working at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. And when she got there, one of the guys that was working there was one of our guys from our camp. And he told her he brought her back so she could camp at our camp because the price is right, right? And she didn't know I was going to be camping there. Next thing I know, we got this girl with her soft tail and her tent right there in our midst. Now, um, you know, we had a little, the, the camps always have little communities going in them at these rallies. That's what makes, really kind of what makes the Sturges rally so worthwhile. Is you see all your old buddies and you all spend time together and there's a lot of things to go on, a lot of things to do. And so, she became one of the crowd. She hung out a lot. She slept a lot. Now, she was pretty nervous about that motorcycle. And so she didn't ride it that much. We had, going out of our camp, there's a pretty steep hill going up to the road. And it's just full of ruts. It was really bad this year. <laughs> and so she spent a lot of time in the camp. And a lot of guys stayed in camp for a month or more after the rally. Now, that didn't used to happen. It used to be I was always the last guy there. But after 2020, when all that weird stuff happened... And people didn't want to be in their communist states, so they, you know, South Dakota never closed anything down. That was the first year guys started staying for a long time in camp, and I wasn't the last one there. And ever since then, they've been doing that. It's a great place to be. It's a really nice camp. We have the rec center in nearby Deadwood. It's $15 for a month. They have a swimming pool, a sauna, a hot tub, a weight room, and, um, and showers of course and then there's a whole lot of things that go on in the area after the rally as you'll see in this video and um so eventually you know some of the guys left went all the way to the west coast and ended up coming back and putting their camps back in but Jeannie and I began to pal around quite a bit and because she didn't want to ride up that hill <laughs> And so when I went into town and stuff, she'd go with me, and I'd like to go to the gym, and she would like to go too. And, and we spent some time hanging out with each other. And eventually, everybody kind of left, and we were the last ones there. So eventually, the time came to leave. Now, I was going to Bikes, Blues, and Barbecues in Arkansas and Rogers. And she actually lives out not too far from there. Uh, she moved there not that long ago. And so we decided to ride out together. And on the way there, she started to get pretty sick. She was already getting a little sick, but she started to get real sick. And she was up, you know, throwing up, and she got to where she couldn't really eat. We got to Bikes, Blues, and Barbecues, and I have an old friend there. And we camped over there at his place. And, um, but she got, she couldn't eat anymore. So she decided to ride south a couple of hours to where she was, where her place was. Actually a camp. <laughs> it actually turned out to be a camp. And um, she took off. And she called, and I stayed, and she called me up a few days later. She'd been to see the doctor. They told her she had cancer. She had three months to live. It's in her pancreas and it's spread into her liver, they say. And so I told her I'd visit her on the way down. And on the way down, I've stopped here to visit her. And the thing is, there's nobody to take care of her. The boy's in Florida. There's really nothing he can do. And the daughter, she has her own problems. She can't even get a hold of her. There's no way to even get a hold of her. 
And so there's nobody here. And so I've been staying here and I've helped her and took care of her. And as she's gotten worse, I can't leave. I, I, I couldn't leave anybody like that, really, you know. Um, most people have family that would take care of them, but she doesn't. And so I wanted to make this video of our travels together. I was going to make some other ones first, but I would like for her to be able to see them. You know, there's still some hope, but she's pretty rough, and she's she's accepted. She doesn't seem to have a problem with the death part. She doesn't want to suffer on the way there. So they've given her some pretty strong drugs, and <clears throat> we're still getting to spend some time that's enjoyable. See, because our personalities really mesh. So we've gotten along really well since. So that's what's going on. But what we're going to do is start back at the Sturges rally. And I'm sure I'll have to make a few videos about this. And from there, we will go on this journey together. Well, all of us, I guess. Her, me, and now you. And so with that, let's start. All I've got coming to me. And take your retirement and that so-called social security. Big city turned me loose and set me free. You're going to get a, a copyright strike for that. Not on my other channels, I won't. Not on my free speech channels. Been working every day since I was 20. Haven't got a thing to show for anything I've done. There's folks who never work and they've got plenty. It's time for guys like me to have some fun. Come on, sing it. <laughs> I don't know the words. <laughs> this is the Scooter Tramp Movie Theater. For homeless people only. Let's take a look. There it is. It's close to home. Oh, we got a two-seater. Another participant. And there's our big screen. Yeah. Jeannie here lives over there. That's her house. And the movie's just a starting. We got drinks, we got coffee, we got water. We just pigged out on salads up there in town. And uh, gonna see her watch. Sportster here. Wow. Hmm. She's got some big shit going on down there. Where'd Junior go? Did you lose our child? Where'd he go? He's probably up in the waffle. Well, I guess we lost him.
going in here to the Deadwood Railway Exhibit. Let's take a look. There's your train. There's <sighs> more than one fish in there. Now we got a storm coming. Where'd you guys go since you left here? You didn't go to Oregon, did you? Washington, Oregon, and everything in between. Yeah, everything in between. Montana, and then we loop back. Idaho. Oh, I forgot my glasses. Oh. And you guys are going to breakfast now. We're going to breakfast. You want to go? No. I told you, I got to get finish this. I got like three of them in a row that I made, three videos. I may have started as one, but it's gonna be too long. So I just busted it into three, it's three different people, and I gotta finish those, and then I gotta go find some internet and all right, put so them all up, a, man. Here's a question probably a lot of people wanna know is, how long does it take you to edit a video? Of, of say a 15 minute video? Most of my videos are like 20, 25 minutes. Once in a while it's shorter one. It takes two to five days. Dang. Of me sitting there working. That's why trying to get one out every week's too much because then I can't go do stuff. I got to skip times. But yeah, it's a fucking job, man. You, you see a lot of interesting stuff and meet a lot of interesting characters, that, and everybody's got a story, good or bad, and everybody is good at something. I've noticed. <laughs> you know, so you just got to drag it out of them, figure out how to drag it out of them, and of course you're good at that. Well, Jeannie has finally come out of her hobble <clears throat> and she's making a cucumber sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'm eating the carrots. They had these people selling locally grown food down there and I'm telling you man, I don't know if you guys remember but when I was young all the old people weren't sick like they are now. America is the sickest country in the world. I think it's just crap they're putting in our food. As I'm getting older I'm trying to gravitate more towards real food. And I feel so much better when I eat in Mexico. Because the food, you don't have to look for natural food. That's what they got. At least in the small towns. Anyway, she's making a cucumber sandwich. And she got these cucumbers, which are garden grown. She got this weird tomato. <laughs> that is a weird... He said it was different than normal tomatoes. Yeah, and when you cut uh, into it, it was going to be different. For like tomato paste. What are you going to do with it? So, somebody left us this bucket. Now, I was going to take it and throw it away, and then I realized we could use it to keep food in. So, I kept it. See, after the show, people left crap here. They're like, you want this? They're trying to give it away, because they, <laughs> they can't use it. They're like, Do I'm doing you such a favor by giving you my stuff that I fucking can't wanna, don't want to carry out of here. and It's good stuff, and... I can't use it like we like we need it, right? Yeah. I'm like, so I had to make some trips out of here carrying people's shit to the garbage can because I ain't afraid to throw stuff away. These fuckers are afraid to throw stuff away. We've accumulated chairs and we got these chairs, blankets, sweatshirts. Switch I got two extra. Where's my blue one? I'll oh, carry. Commandeered it. 
Uh, Corey commandeered it. Hey, that was good. Is it good? Yeah. Did you taste it? Yeah, it's really good. Wow. So. Yeah, it's all locally grown. Mmm. Like the older I'm getting, the more I'm gravitating. I'm starting to read the labels. Vita told me that they, some of the chemicals they outlawed in Europe is being poisoned and they rebranded them and put them back in the food. And she said they call them um, natural flavoring and artificial flavoring. She said those two words mean poison. <laughs> so uh -huh. I'm keeping an eye out. I'm keeping an eye out for that stuff. I want a tomato sandwich now. <laughs> well, there's I'm going to make some kind of a sandwich here too. I got two pieces of the good bread left. Now that is a sandwich, man. Say what you want, but that is a sandwich. And now I got to turn this off because of his music. Oh, look at that. Life in the woods, man. He thinks he's a wood nymph. He's swinging his dick around now. Is that what that's supposed to be? <laughs> All right. It's like the third weekend after the Sturges rally. And this is just outside of Sturges and they're having the Mustang thing. This is a holiday weekend. I forget which day, I think it's Veterans Day. But anyway, here we are. They got a free movie going on. I'm palling around with Jeannie with the absence of Vita, but she's nervous about getting her bike up that hill. So she ends up riding into town with me. Don't worry, Vita, because she's sleeping in her own tent, not mine. Anyway, so this is a car thing, obviously. But I'm looking for something to do, and they're supposed to have a free movie here tonight. And it looks like they do. This is something we can do. Oh, I take the pills, do the work. No, they are not great. Say, one third of the big tent. Big tent. Do you want a critical risk of car with a mask? Well, we should have formed that too. That's not the word. Well, I can raise mask car. Form number one. The valve is shot, Shelby. This is as serious as it has. In my opinion, you're lucky to be sitting here today. Huh. All right. Well, we're gonna sit and watch a movie on the picnic tables. Good enough. Look at that, there's Puppy. He's been in some of my old videos. I knew him for a long time. He died a few years ago. He rode that 80 inch flathead for most of his life. And he tried a twin cam, he didn't like it. He went to an Evo and rode those the rest of his life. Shut it down. It's gone now. Sturge's drag strip again. But they're gonna be racing cars this time. Uh oh. This old guy here got trouble. <laughs> That's funny. So he can see the races and push them up. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm being hassled by the cops. That's you, right? Yeah. And and there are What am I under arrest for? Because you. Because you. What'd I do? You robbed the bank. And you. And you. But how do you know it was me? I. You need to have proof. 
You gotta prove it was me. I saw your gases, that's how I proved it. You saw what? I saw your gases. My what? Your glasses. Glasses? So I know it was you. Anybody can have these glasses. <laughs> that doesn't mean it was me. I know it was you because you had a You can't know it was me because I was wearing a mask. <laughs> so how are you going to know it was me? Because you got gases on. So well, there's lots of glasses, but I had a mask, so you couldn't even no, see my face. His glasses are excellent. But I saw, but I, but these are fishing glasses. Huh? These are fishing glasses. Over here. So, so over here. You're on camera. This, this is actually, it's, you, I have fishing glasses, so I know it was you, because I, because I saw your face when I put these fishing glasses on. The what are those? What kind of glasses are those? They're, they're in the Those glasses are for if somebody robs the bank. And I saw you steal money and rob the bank, so I saw you do it. I was wearing a mask, so you didn't know it was me. So how you gonna know it was me? Because I had on a mask. You can't tell. Anybody could have these glasses. I wasn't even wearing glasses when I did it. I have contacts. Huh? I don't have a car, I got a motorcycle. You did, huh? I So so what do I have to do? Do I have to pay bail? What do I have to do? How much to how much do I have to pay to stay out of jail? Five dollars. Five dollars? That's a lot of money just to not go to jail. Me too. Are you fitting that thing? It's like a tent. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's like you have big boobs. <laughs> and I'm, I gotta go take a pee. That's what I gotta do. And I, and I can walk away. It's the way. cops are hassling me, right? Yeah. The cop is and hassling I, me. The wannabe cop. I really hope y'all enjoyed that little time up there in the Black Hills as much as I did. Well, you couldn't have. You had to be there for that. But I hope you enjoyed it uh, half as much as I did. Uh, I want you guys to know that in case I ever get... Well, even if I don't get canceled here, that all of my material is also up on these free speech channels which are like this one they got to search at the top and if you go over there and put in my name I'll come right up now I also want you to know that this video over on those channels is different than it is here for one thing I didn't have to silence any parts of it to keep out of trouble and with that you guys there's going to be more coming up on the ride with Jeannie it was actually a really wonderful time and um I should have that up in a week or so, and I'll look forward to seeing you there.